Hi, and thanks for returning to Coin Lady channel. The revolution has been unfolding before our very eyes. And I realize that sounds a little weird to say considering how everyone is sobbing and whining. Ultimately, though, the people who are sitting here and aren't whining are the adults in the room. They are the ones who understand the value of holding assets like XRP. And because of its inherent efficiencies, businesses like Ripple are leading the way in developing the XRP ledger. Furthermore, it is leading this tokenization revolution. Let's now actually discuss what that implies. Here, too. Let's discuss the chance. It is clear why Ripple is concentrating on custody, smart contracts, partners, and tokenization after reading this latest update from the Medico Insights study that Crypto Airy posted. Its potential extends well beyond cross-border payments, with a potential value of over $500 trillion over time. Indeed, this is the crazy thing about it at the moment. Thus, let's quickly put everything into perspective because XRP isn't functioning as they would like. Many individuals are growing pessimistic about it. Again, fair enough to them, as XRP hasn't really formed all that well in a very long time. However, what truly interests me is the increased attention being paid to the XRP ledger in order to offer a lot more use cases and value, particularly in relation to smart contracts, as well as the modifications that will greatly increase liquidity. There is a lot going on. And to be really honest with you all, most people are unaware of the scope of these endeavors on the XRP ledger because they do not fully comprehend the technology involved or what has to be put in place for things like the right to clawback to actually come to pass. Do you guys recall the initial XRP ledger introduction and the associated FUD and animosity surrounding the clawback amendment back then? Yes, it's quite humorous. Recall Franklin Templeton and the reason behind their selection of Stellar for tokenization projects. The most important hint that they made was about the clawback feature. The reason for this is that organizations such as Franklin Templeton must implement the clawback feature for regulatory reasons before they can truly concentrate on tokenization efforts. This is a necessary step toward their adoption and advancement of ledger technology. Therefore, when we examine the technology and these modifications, we see that they are essential components that serve as pillars and will lay the groundwork for institutions to really adopt the XRP ledger for particular use cases that they can expand upon. In any case, this defines industry standards for tokenization, scalability, and constructing interoperability in both the primary and secondary markets. We have the executive summary available here as well, saving you guys the trouble of reading it all. Tokenization allows for the creation of digital representations of financial or physical assets on blockchains or distributed ledgers, providing accessibility, liquidity, and transparency, even if it's not a brand new occurrence. Institutional financial services have been paying close attention to it again in the past several years. This is mostly because standardization, automation, and disintermediation have the ability to boost primary and secondary markets by accelerating liquidity improving compliance, and lowering costs. The general focus is then located there, on the right, at the bottom. Hence, it makes no difference whether you want to argue that XRP is stagnating or not since. When we look more closely at the tokenization process, we see that a huge amount of capital is driving it. US Treasury assets on public blockchains are now worth more than $650 million, and they are increasing at a steady rate. Tokenization of financial and physical assets is expected to reach up to $5 trillion by 2030 in the near future, with significant expansion in the collateral markets, repo securities financing, and private markets. In the end, there is enormous long-term potential value in tokenizing assets, ranging from the $250 trillion global capital markets to the real estate industry, which is valued at over $300 trillion globally. The absurd thing about this, by the way, is that derivatives and other similar huge concepts are not even considered. Ultimately, no one truly knows how much money is involved in tokenization because there is still a. There are numerous undiscovered regions with, for instance, undiscovered debt markets valued at hundreds of trillions of dollars. There is a lot of money out there that we haven't yet fully discovered. It's almost like a secret passage that we must discover. However, Things are starting to move quickly since there is a lot of money involved, and tokenization will be visible across the chain. 
It doesn't matter if you want to acknowledge that. There was recently an interview, or rather, I believe it was more of a conference, where did the CEO of Archaic indicate that by the end of 2025, there will be 30 to 50 trillion dollars in trading on the XRP ledger? We're not sure if that will be feasible at this point. We're not sure if that will occur. However, it demonstrates that the individuals driving the tokenization revolution are aware of the benefits the XRP ledger offers. And they also understand that tokenization will only be fully realized in the long run. As of right moment, we all know that tokenization is the main emphasis of every organization. The staggering report on all of this relates to the amount of money that tokenization has tied up. And presently, the cryptocurrency market is worth $2.3 when you consider that, it is almost a 50x reduction to under $100 trillion. And here, we are discussing a $500 trillion opportunity. Furthermore, as you are aware, the World Economic Forum stated that about 1 quadrillion USD. Consider how early the cryptocurrency space is still in theory. Despite the fact that people are constantly griping about their old coin not moving in a certain way due of meme currencies doing this and that coin doing that. This field still has a ton of untapped potential. Furthermore, keep in mind that we are still discussing how $2.3 trillion is linked to cryptocurrencies and how much more money may be involved in the future. We do know, after all, that the tokenization-related custodial market is expected to reach $10 trillion. Imagine the size of this market and the amount of money that will be on-chain at that point. Additionally, Consider which projects will survive once 99% of the market disappears. In November 2019, Brad Garlinhouse predicted that 99% of cryptocurrencies would likely reach zero, and he was alluding to something akin to a dot-com bubble explosion, in which new laws are implemented and 99% of the market disappears. Memes are shining, but they're shining when we look at the market's seven-day gainers at the moment. How many of these meme coins would still be in circulation if rules were to take effect tomorrow? Most likely, there is no response. In the end, I do believe that tokenization will become quite popular if laws are in place. For many of these utility initiatives, like XRP, the possibilities are endless once we achieve widespread acceptance. Do I still believe that XRP will perform at a 100% level in the short term? Nevertheless. Ordering some of these assets into the utility-driven bull run will yield the highest profits. Is it already the year 234? Or five steps apart from that? We're not sure, but we're aware that it will happen. We are aware that this will occur because it is now being discussed at all institutions. If we go back to March 2021, we can see that Monica Long, the president of Ripple, was speaking about tokenization on the XRP ledger not too long ago. She stated that tokenization has been a crucial component of the XRP ledger since its creation, with over 5,400 tokens having been produced since then. There won't be any more walled gardens. Instead, MDDCS will reside on new private ledgers that run concurrently with the XRP ledger and use XRP as a bridge to interact with other currencies. Then, when we truly examine what's happening, it was only recently, back in the middle of February, that we integrated custody more thoroughly into Ripple's products, looked for ways to complement our payments with standard custody, and offered custody services all in the name of being a one-stop shop to move, convert, and store value with blockchain and cryptocurrency. Returning to what Ari or the cryptocurrency community said earlier, Ripple is concentrated on custody and smart contracts. Among other things, the goal of every single piece is for Ripple to become that one-stop store. Additionally, it seems like a lot of people are stating that Ripple is changing direction at the moment. Ripple's focus has shifted away from money. It's not true as stated. Here, we'll be focusing only on Ripple's when we examine tokenization. Their goal is to turn into that one side. Open for business. Payments will remain a primary focus area for that one-stop shop. But tokenization, guess what, also requires a market. Tokenization requires a mechanism that can transact, convert, exchange, and settle any tokenized items. And once more, XRP grows stronger as a component of the jigsaw and the use case for it grows stronger. Furthermore, the ISO deserves a huge round of applause for its realization that real-world asset tokenization will hasten adoption. 
It is anticipated that conventional financial institutions would persist in exploring blockchain technology as a means of optimizing their existing procedures. Experiments with digital currencies by central banks will become popular as the preferred method of converting value, and real-world asset tokenization will hasten adoption as a dependable means of conducting financial transactions. Following the disruption caused by decentralized exchanges, there is also a push to standardize and secure DeFi applications. This has the potential to increase adoption and produce decentralized substitutes for traditional financial services like lending, borrowing, and writing. Incidentally, Ripple is primarily focused on defying institutional DeFi initiatives. Additionally, they are hiring people specifically with the XRP ledger in mind in this area. That concludes the video. As always, please like and subscribe. Bye, and see you soon.